So I didn't realize um, how many people would be interested in the last review I did on KMB transportation. And I wanted to knock out this quick video. Or I'm gonna try and make this quick about my last interaction with them because um, it kind of changed uh, the way uh, I wanna talk about them. You know, before, um, you know, I didn't think they were great. You know, but I could still say, hey, you know, go and if, if you need the money, go over there and, and do what you got to do for a little while. But uh, based on my last transaction with them, uh, and it was basically strictly transactional, uh, I, I don't recommend anybody go there. Don't waste your time because you're just going to end up in a situation you probably don't want to be in. So I mentioned in the last video that I had put in a two weeks and trying to be professional and uh, so that's what I plan on doing and two days before I was supposed to go home uh, I get a, uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't a real load it was uh, to go pick up a trailer that needed to be serviced and drop it off at a trailer shop in Omaha Nebraska which is roughly 110 miles away from their yard in South Sioux City Nebraska so I did that and that was on a Saturday morning and an automated message comes up and says uh, no no pre-planned load you know in the system whatever and usually what happens is uh, the on-call dispatcher or not on call but the, the, whoever's on duty at the time uh, will look at it and I'll have something in you know 10 15 minutes max uh, you know that, that's more or less how it goes and you know there's typically freight you know especially in that area uh, moving around so so it's really not that big a deal and it's, it's usually pretty fast you know i think the longest i had to wait was maybe you know 30 minutes or so or if it's towards the end of my shift which this wasn't um then they would say hey just go ahead and uh, take your 10 and you know we'll, we'll find something you know when you when you get off break but that wasn't the case uh i i just started my clock a couple hours prior you know i probably had a uh, eight hours left of my day and so there was nothing there and I, I let about 45 minutes almost an hour go by and finally I said you know what I'm, I'm close to the yard I've only got two days left you know they haven't given me nothing they, they're probably having an issue because I'm supposed to be you know they got a plan on bringing me in so I just called them and said you know what I'm gonna be done today route me in you know not, not route me in but I'm just gonna you know bobtail up and they're like, uh, no, you know, don't do that. Uh, we'll, we'll find you a, a service trailer to bring up. You know, we don't want you to come, you know, we don't want you bobtail. Okay, no problem. So uh, I first go do a uh, trailer check at uh, RL Carriers in Omaha, Nebraska, which there were no trailers there. And uh, that's trailer check. You know, they just wanted to see what was there and there was no trailers and uh, you know, no big deal. So they sent me to Council Bluffs Iowa, which is right across the state line uh, from Omaha to Tyson uh, Tyson Meats or Tyson Foods, whatever, whatever it is, to go pick up a specific trailer and bring it up to Omaha. Long story short, they tell me that that trailer is uh, planned to be loaded and that um, dispatch would have to reach out to them. So I called them up. I went to the truck stop first down the road. It's like two minutes. To the sap brothers there called him and told him what was going on and <clears throat> the uh, driver manager who's not my normal driver manager <clears throat> had asked me if i could go into the uh, shipping office i said you don't understand i said i already tried um they don't want to hear from me they need to hear from you guys to get this squared away and he was trying and, and i got frustrated with him and i told him i said you know what forget it you know i'll, I'll just I'll, I'll i'll eat it and if you guys want to charge me something, go ahead and charge me something. I'm just going to bobtail up because, you know, my plan was, you know, I, I got to get back into Omaha so I can fly home. And, um, you know, so the sooner I got there, the sooner I can get, get back and big old issue. So I, I didn't want to deal with that trailer. Well, I take off and uh, I get about five or 10 miles down the road, probably five miles. Uh, and a planner calls me up real, real cool guy I, I think I don't know if his name was Ross or something like that but you know real real cool guy 
He's like, hey, you know what? He goes, we took care of this. He goes, I, I really don't want to see you get charged because um, they're probably going to charge you like $350 if, if you just bobtail up here. And uh, he goes, the trailer's ready. If you have any problems, you can ask for this guy. Uh, give me a name. And um, I said, you know what? I said, it's cool. I said, I'll, I'll turn around and, and I'll get this trailer. So that's what I did. I went back, picked it up with no problem, brought it up to the yard, cleaned out the truck, left it as best I could. Um, somebody reached out. I don't think it was the same guy. Somebody reached out and asked me if I needed a bus ticket home. And I had said, no, I already made my own travel uh, arrangements. Uh, I booked a flight. I I'm not going to take a bus from over there all the way from South Sioux City all the way to Phoenix, Arizona. That's crazy. Um, so anyways, I had already made arrangements and stuff like that. So it wasn't a big deal. And, um, you know, I, I did what I had to do. Well, that paycheck comes in and it's heavily short. I mean, without even looking at a pay stub you know it was short and so I called uh, the driver manager and asked him why it was short and uh, he said oh well they charge you $500 for out of route did he, he and he wasn't there the, over the weekend and he was like did you did you bobtail up or something like that and I said and I explained what happened and I gave him the trailer number and everything else he goes okay I'll, I'll send it up and I'll look into it week goes by I don't hear nothing I call him back and I said, hey, and then he asked me the same questions again. So to me, he didn't do anything. He just, you know, I guess he blew me off or whatever. And I said, I don't understand what the issue is. I said, the trailer's there in the yard. I dropped it off. It's either there in the yard or it's already been serviced. So there's a record. Somebody needs to check, you know, because that's $500. And uh, so then I guess... Um, somebody had made a note that I was putting up a fight to pick up this trailer and I explained to him I said look I said I initially did you know based on what was going on I said I talked to the planner I said I decided to go get it thought everything was cool and um, so they didn't know that I had already reached out to the Nebraska Department of Transportation or excuse me uh, Department of Labor and uh, submitted a complaint uh, based on you know uh, wrongfully withheld uh, wages or you know th there's uh, there's a tab on there and you can just it takes about five minutes or so you can uh, give a detailed description of what's going on you know they ask you for basic stuff uh, who the employer is address stuff like that telephone number you know whatever whatever information you have so hey, that was really fast uh, they give you a confirmation email that they've received it and um, the very next day, uh, somebody actually reached out and said, hey, we're, uh, it's under review, you know, uh, and they asked for some more information. Uh, the other thing is, make sure you send messages, you know, document this stuff. You know, if you're going to be leaving these guys or anybody for that matter, make sure that you're documenting um, the conversation back and forth. And because it, it, I mean, that, that's what really helped me. And I had some screenshots of some stuff, you know, the trailer number, the address, you know, where they sent me to go. It wasn't a really, uh, it wasn't a booked load. You know, they just said, hey, go here. They sent me a message with directions, everything else. And then I asked them, hey, what trailer am I picking up? Because they told me over the phone, but I forgot. And um, so I asked twice. And the second time they responded, 120, whatever. And so I had all that. I sent it to this person who was uh, working on it. And uh, he said, hey, we'll give them, um, they have until this date, which is about a week, you know, to respond. And uh, we'll see what they say. So the next week, Monday morning, bright and early, you know, I'm, I'm in Arizona time. I get an email saying, hey, um, the, the employer admitted that it was a wrongful uh, charge. And they're gonna they've this is a copy of the check that they issued and blah 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 you know so um they took care of it really fast and i, I bring this up because um i've i've heard a lot over the road you know you talk to other drivers and stuff like that and everybody had the same story oh these guys charged me money you know i tried to quit they wanted me to do extra stuff you know all, all this you know bs so 
what I what I'm hoping to get out of this video um, is y you have recourse you know if enough people are filing these complaints against these guys maybe it'll change the way they do business you know because the Department of uh, Labor for Nebraska and any state for that matter you know they can levy fines they can do a lot of stuff to these employers and um, you know, I, I just, uh, I heard a lot of people say that they lost money, you know, on that last week, you know, re regardless of what the situation was, you know, you know, they took X amount of dollars from me. And the other complaint that I had uh, in emailing back and forth with this guy that was working on it, I said, you know, they want to charge somebody something. I, I said, that's fine. That's, you know, whatever, you know, we're going to go up empty or Bob telling, you know, whatever the situation is. Um, you know, that's fine. But where did they come up with this $500 figure? You know, I mean, it's 110 miles from where I was at back to the yard, you know, at the cost of fuel. If I was bobtailing, let, let's say I didn't take the trailer and I just bobtail it up, you know, 110 miles, bobtailing, you know, what, you should get 10, 12 miles a gallon of diesel. You know, so, you know, you're looking at, you know, 10, 10, 12 gallons uh, of diesel usage tops, even on a high end, let's just say $4, that's 50 bucks, you know, so where's this, you know, $450 in excess fines coming from? And so I'm hoping that this will help you guys out and, you know, file, file these complaints because that's the only way that these guys are going to change, you know, their habits. You know, um, the truth is, most of the people that I dealt with there are, were pretty cool people. The driver manager was pretty cool up until he started avoiding me now. I, I think I got blackballed. Um, the, the planners that I talked to, you know, uh, one of the recruiters, which called me the day I was leaving, asked me if there's anything he can do for me. You know, he was a cool guy. Um, you know, so there are good people that work there. But the ownership, in my opinion, Again, this is second generation ownership, to my knowledge. Um, they're not running um, the best operation, you know, and um, that that's just my opinion. So uh, hopefully this helps some of you guys out in the future. You know, maybe you can avoid them at all costs. But hey, you know, I understand if you need the money. Um, I did say the money was guaranteed. It's not a problem. They don't fight you to pay you. So long as you're not saying you're going to quit, then that's another story. But the money's good. And, um, you know, if, if you need it, you know, then, then, you know, go over there and do what you got to do for a little while. But um, if you can, avoid these guys. Um, and that's pretty much all I have. So hopefully uh, this will help at least somebody out. I was surprised uh, the number of views. Not that it was a lot. It was like 120 people had watched my previous video. And, um, you know, so that's that. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching.